Every once in a while, the boxing world is hit by a bolt of lightning and a new warrior emerges from the ashes. Virgil Ortiz Jr. could very well be that next great warrior to storm the boxing world for many more years. The man from Texas is one of the most exciting and action-packed boxers in the sport today. And if I'm being frank, I'm surprised not more people are hyping him up or talking about him facing the best more often. In today's breakdown analysis, I'm going to take a deeper look at Ortiz Jr's boxing style and why I think he has the potential to be a future pound for pound star. So on that note, let's get right into it. First up, here's a real quick look at his background. Ortiz Jr began boxing at 5 years old when he was introduced to it by his father. From here, it looked written in the stars for Ortiz Jr to be a success as he became a 7 time national champion and winner of the 2013 Junior Olympics, finishing with an impressive 140 for 20 record. With such achievements as an amateur, Ortiz Jr was always going to get attention and would sign with Golden Boy in 2016, who no doubt have a plan in him becoming one of the big stars in boxing one day. It quite simply has been devastation for all his opponents he has faced so far and has a 100% KO rate in his first 18 fights. While he was also named the Ring Magazine 2019 Prospect of the Year due to his flawless performances. The competition is only starting to go up and so far it has not slowed down the rise of Ortiz Jr. But now let's break down his style of fighting. Ortiz Jr's boxing style. Virgil Ortiz Jr is a fighter who definitely naturally prefers to fight in a more swarmer pressure style. However, due to his extensive amateur career, he almost has the ability to change up and be more a classic boxer puncher, which I'll explain later in his different elements. One of the first things you'll probably notice about him is his solid fundamentals where he fights off a constant high guard defense and pressurizing footwork, making sure his front foot is always aimed at his opponent to close off the ring and ready to attack. In most cases, he likes to fight at a very high pace and take advantage of his speed and power in the early rounds, which a lot of opponents simply get overwhelmed by. It also helps that he's fight ending power with each of his strikes, which he aims to do as much damage on his opponent. But now it's important to look at the more finer details of his style and what makes him so effective. Power jabs. Now one of the first things you'll see Ortiz Jr throw is of course his jab. And the man from Texas likes to throw this punch with power. Every jab almost acts as a power shot for him as he likes to throw these jabs to the head and the body. And you can tell this can really take the wind out of his opponents. You'll even see him doubling up his power jabs to continue pushing back his opponent while making sure to step in with his feet to add more power. He will also use it to take center ring and take control while it also gives him the ability to faint more often as his opponents are therefore more cautious as they don't want to be at the end of one of these jabs. And this of course leads in to his natural game. Pressure Fighter just by watching the first round of any of Virgil's fights, his natural instinct is to apply intense pressure and he really typifies the Mexican style of boxing. He's absolutely relentless and aims to suffocate the opponent with his constant forward movement to disrupt and rush their work. He in that sense does really remind me of Julio Cesar Chavez or even Golovkin with the end goal to get up close and break you down on the inside with big powerful shots. Ortiz Jr and his ring generalship must also be applauded and I can only see him improving in this area. Much like Chavez or even Golovkin, Ortiz will also try and maintain the distance from a mid range which puts him in a distance to be able to push them back to the corner or the ropes with his power jabs and straight combos. His competitors mostly don't want to be in the ropes and will try to get out of the way, but Virgil will continue the pressure by sidestepping or using an L step to maintain this pressure. The pace at which Ortiz does this makes it physically and mentally exhausting for them. Hitting the target in combinations. 
Now once Ortiz has you on the ropes, this is his opportunity to use his speed and power with his combination punching. You will often see him throw combos with hooks while he will also try to target the body with the left hook to the liver, but he is always trying to change up the location and what punches he will throw next. This therefore makes his opponent get caught up or try to get the hell out of the way. The other thing I really like about Ortiz Jr, as you can just tell, he is targeting the whole upper body, the arms, gloves, head or body. It doesn't matter where he so called lands the punch, as he has enough confidence in his power to inflict damage, as he knows this will break you down over time. Andre Ward puts this perfectly. But the main goal is I just want to beat you up and I want to break you down. Like us young fighters today, we want a clean, knockout, real kind of shot where I don't want to throw. But you got to understand, you may fight a guy with a tight defense and you got to break him down. You can hit a guy, boom, on his arm. You blocked it, but I still hit you. Yeah. Here, boom, boom. You may block this punch, but it, it hit you. I didn't hit you in your stomach like I wanted to, but I, I caught you here. And if I hit you there four, time. four or five times around for 10 rounds, you're going to start to feel it. And then I start to. So you don't always have to hit the target. You don't always have to hit the target. You got to understand that the whole body's a target. It also helps that he throws these combinations with such force and he knows over time his opponent will make the wrong move. Just look at the example of when he fought Hooker and he just punched his arm with such force he had to take a knee. Creating angles. The other part I really enjoy about Ortiz is his way of creating angles for himself. If Virgil is struggling to get a clear opening, he will use his footwork to shift left or right to get a better angle to throw a hook to the body or the head. As you can see, once he does this, his opponent has no choice but to move or they could face a barrage of heavy shots. He will also sometimes do this in the centre ring by first throwing the jab to occupy the guard before quickly changing the angle to then throw a punch out of view. This definitely adds another dimension to his game and very often most of his opponents haven't been able to handle it. Finisher As mentioned earlier in this video, Ortiz has a tremendous knockout rate and it's no surprise when you combine all of what I've talked about together. You can tell just by looking at his face he has mean intentions with each punch and wants to do damage. This is something you absolutely need at this level of fighting that killer finisher attitude of wanting to take them out no matter what. The way he also does this is just by generating the power through the movement of his punches. You can tell Ortiz understands how to generate the speed and power through the use of his lower body all the way to the end of his punch and it's no surprise you see him knock out so many opponents with ease. Aggressive defense encounters. In terms of his defense, he obviously uses that high guard defense to catch and block shots away. However, a high guard defense cannot just work on its own with your hands up. You have to add other movements on top of this for it to be effective and work for you. In the case of Ortiz Jr, he will look to slip left and right, constantly weaving his upper body with the guard, much like Alex Sarguello or even Mike Tyson. Or he likes to give his opponent a tempting target which can sometimes leave opportunities to counter back with a hook or big right hand. And it's often a trap he's able to draw his competitor into. Fighters like Canelo or Chocolatito use this to much success. The high guard defense can also leave you open to the body. So when the opponent targets this, he will simply move back or try to pivot out the way while keeping it in his guard in most cases. The thing I like about his overall defense is although he wouldn't necessarily consider him a defensive boxer, He's very calm when taking shots in the gloves, but due to his constant offense, he doesn't need to do this nearly as often as he has to. Areas to improve If I'm being honest, it's very hard to see many weaknesses in his game. Personally, he can leave himself open for uppercuts and return hooks when on the inside, but has taken these shots pretty well in the chin today. I believe targeting his body is an area to exploit but he almost knows opponents will try to do this and he'll try to aim to counter you. It will be interesting to see him face better opposition in the future of a slicker style and if he's able to cope with someone at his level, as sometimes he can rush his work and get caught from time to time. 
He also likes to throw a lot of power shots, and you can't help but think, will he eventually gas out from throwing so many punches with that power? At the moment, there's also been no real need to box in the back foot, as his pressure game is very much playing to his strengths and his overall style. But maybe being able to box in the back foot and take his time might be a sensible area when he faces better opposition. We have seen glimpses of this in some fights, including against Fargas, but if I'm being honest, I feel he was just trying to get more rounds in. Final thoughts, Virgil Ortiz Jr. for me is one of the most action-packed, exciting and fun fighters to watch in the sport today. People can often downplay some natural pressure fighters as just being a brawler or aggressive with no boxing IQ. For Ortiz Jr. on the other hand, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's coming to take you out and apply pressure with intelligence and movement. I hope the opposition continues to step up for him in the years to come as there is so much to be excited about. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Ortiz Jr. has what it takes to be a pound for pound star one day? If you want more like this, why not check out my analysis on a potential future opponent of Ortiz, Jerome Boots Ennis. This has been Jamie from Boxing Life. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.